Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Epcot and we are going to be dining at the Rosen Crown, but we're going to be doing something special because we're going to be dining during Epcot Forever and outside. So we're going to have dinner with a firework view. I am so excited to do this. It's something so amazing to be that close to the fireworks and enjoy some fish and chips and a pint of beer. Anywho's, let's go do this. This is something I was planning on doing with my mom and sister and they were actually supposed to be here today But their flights got canceled and since I already had the reservation I figured I might as well just come out and do it It is okay because I have a lot of great things planned for me my mom and sister This reservation is sometimes very hard to come by because you have to get it in the time frame of the fireworks Now usually the park is open till 10 o'clock and Epcot forever starts at 10 But recently they changed and now the park closes at 9 and the fireworks start at 9 So you have to be in that 8 30 to 9 o'clock range or 8 to 9 is probably the sweet spot That's where you want to get the perfect time a lot of people don't even know that the Rosen Crown pub has a full dining room like dinner service right to the side there and most of it's outside and I'll give you a rundown before we actually get to our reservation because it's still two hours away but I'd like to show you it during the day compared to when we come it's gonna be a little bit darker out Epcot Forever is set to be leaving us for the 50th anniversary and being replaced with Harmonious So it's really cool that I'm able to come out and do a firework viewing like dinner for Epcot Forever before it's officially gone I do have to say I'm excited to see Harmonious But take a look at how close we are going to be dining to the fireworks And look at how close we are going to be to the Harmonious barges when they first start Right here is the dining room area And it has two layers so it's got this one with the canopy and then this one with the umbrellas But look at that what a view, right? We're going to be able to just sit here, eat some dinner, and watch the fireworks. It's going to be amazing. Since we have just about an hour or two, I figured we'd make a lap around World Showcase. Maybe go on a Grand Fiesta tour. I've got my umbrella just in case it rains. I'm prepared. I'm feeling good. And uh, I'm happy. So, <laughs> let's have fun around Epcot World Showcase. One of the things that recently reopened here at Epcot is the Northwest Mercantile and the Trading Post refreshments here in the Canada Pavilion. These have been closed for such a long time, so I'm excited to hop in here and see if they've got any nifty like gifts or anything for Canada. Also, in between both of these shop locations, they have one of the coolest hidden Mickeys out there. I can't wait to show you. It's really awesome. If you take a look at this totem pole right here at the very top, you're gonna spot a hidden Mickey. I don't know if you can see it from here, but I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see it, but it's a very clever one. Let me know in the comments if you can see it, but I think it's just so cool because it's, it's really tucked away. It's very hidden, it's at the very top. Watch, I'm gonna zoom back out. Look how far down you actually are. You have to, you have to really be looking to find it. I wish this shop was open when I did shopping around World Showcase because it was hard to find something unique. I made a video where I went shopping around World Showcase finding unique things in each country and I think I got a gold covered leaf from the stand outside because none of this was open but now it's open I bet you we could find unique things in there. We have to put our mask on because we're going indoors and that just recently started about a week ago but take a look at all this stuff. This is really awesome. Lots of bears. I really like the flannel. Flannel's definitely making a big, big comeback. Look at that bear hat. I love how they have all these cool things in here. This shirt that says, let's get toasted and it looks like they're roasting s'mores. And then the Goat Mountain Soap Company. This soap is so fancy. I'm gonna try to show you it right here. I'm gonna try to zoom in. Oh yeah, beaver butt soap, very fancy. And then we've got the dog team drool, the badger, badger barf soap, the moose spit soap, moose spit, and then all the way at the bottom here, butterfly kisses, butterfly kisses soap. These are so fancy, I love it. I should have gotten myself some of the beaver butt soap. I don't know which one would you guys get Let me know in the comments would you get beaver butt or would you get the butterfly kisses? I don't know any of them. I think they're all fancy. I don't know how they smell though I wonder if they smell good or if they smell like beaver butt We're gonna keep moving along, but take a look at this feeding circle. They got going on over here I don't know if this one's worse than the magic kingdom one, but a lot of happy ducks and birds over here <laughs> Look at this 
That is so funny. Look at them. They're all waiting. Don't feed the wildlife, folks. They're just looking for scraps or scavengers. If you leave your turkey leg unattended for one second, they will take it. So don't feed them, though. Don't feed the wildlife. I've definitely seen an increase in lines for the festival boots. I think a lot of people are actually hanging out at World Showcase now that they actually started making people wear masks indoors. Here, while you're at World Showcase, you can basically do everything without wearing a mask. Oh, speaking of that. Looks like the rain is coming, so I'm happy we're heading into the temple here. I'm happy to see no lines either. Oh, look at this fancy sign in here. Attraction, dining and shopping and La Cava, all this way. The AC inside here is so amazing. And how do you guys like my small world mask? This is one of my favorites. Doesn't look like there's much of a line for the Grand Fiesta Tour either. Oh wow, this might be just a walk-on. Fancy that. Hi friends. They still got the plexiglass up. It's like we're walking through a maze. Oh wait, we can cut through. Fancy. Nice. Looks like I'll be getting my own boat. How lucky. Number 26, right in the middle. This is so cool. Bye. I don't think I've ever had my own boat on this. Arms, feet and legs inside the boat. And you have to be with you. Please watch them. Gracias. It is so pretty in here. I love it so much. Hi, friends. Everyone's saying hi as they're eating. the dance too and there's nobody in the boat behind me like we're, we're really in here all by ourselves <laughs> oh boy we're coming up on the fiesta <laughs> this is my favorite part of this ride look at all the happy people having a great time the balloons Donald <laughs> also, I showed you that really awesome hidden Mickey in Canada. I'm going to show you an unbelievably hidden Mickey here. When you get up to this part with the fireworks, there's such a cool hidden Mickey up here. And it's not in the fireworks, even though that would be pretty, that'd be pretty cool. First, we have to say hi to the three caballeros. And then on the side of this wall here, you're gonna see Mickey Mouse standing in a window right there. Look at that. You see him right in the middle there? Oh, I don't know. The Grand Fiesta Tour is such a happy ride. It really puts you in the best of spirits. And now we are running back because I lost my umbrella on the ride. I knew it was going to happen. We have it. She saved the umbrella. <laughs> Thank you. That is so awesome that they found the umbrella. I mean, it was only a couple of seconds, but now I need it because it's raining outside. So I would have been stuck in the rain again, even though I did bring an umbrella. But that's why it's hard, because I always end up losing them in the parks, because they don't have any pockets or anything I can hand them to. And plus I'm carrying the camera, so it gets difficult, you know what I mean? Now we can move along, but holy moly, that gave me such a heart attack. I'm like, the Grand Fiesta Tour puts you in such great moods. And I'm like, my umbrella! And then I ran back, but we're all good now, ready to proceed. I think we're gonna make our way right back to the Rosen Crown now. It's getting a little bit dark out and definitely time for fireworks. And I'm a little hungry, so I'm excited. 
It does make me wonder though, what if it rains during the fireworks? Are we gonna be able to eat outside still? I guess we're gonna find out. I mean, it does look like a rainy, rainy night here. I would have wished for a better night to actually do this, but I mean, you can't control the weather. At least we got an umbrella and at least we're here. Like, you know, I'm just happy that I'm getting the chance to. If they do cancel it and we end up eating indoors and uh, just standing on the rain and watching the fireworks, I'm okay with that too, you know? It's all about just enjoying what's going on at the moment. So we're gonna go with the flow. There is just about an hour to go and it looks like everybody's lining up and taking spots all around World Showcase You can see the fireworks or Epcot forever, but people usually just start collecting like a spot near a fence These spots are really hard because there's rocks in front of them. I feel like that's a Jungle Cruise joke There's rocks in front of them <laughs> Now it's time we're checking in. I was gonna actually go into the Rosen Crown and get something to drink, but our table's ready and I can just get a drink down there. Oh, I could show you though. I'm gonna throw my mask on just so I can walk to the restaurant and show you. Last time I dined here, I did dine on the outside before, but there were no fireworks. So this would be the first time with the firework view. And normally it is super packed in here. Look at this. There's actually nobody in here. We've got the whole, whole bar to ourselves here if we want it. That's pretty amazing, but we're gonna actually go this way because our table's ready and it's outside. The inside of the dining room is really, really well themed, but outside you got that special view. That's where we want to be, and we got a nice little table. Oh, sorry. <laughs> right here. Look at that. What a view. And we can actually be under the awning, so we're not gonna get wet wet, even if it does rain. I think I'm gonna start off with a nice harp. A harp by the water. Not too shabby. Now, I do hear uh, people in the UK really don't like harp. You know, it's kind of like the Bud Light of the UK. So, it kind of fits in because I do like Bud Light. Oh, but that's good. I will give you a look at the menu just in case you haven't seen it. They got the United Kingdom cheese platter, a scotch egg, a soup of the day. Might see what that soup of the day is. And then the fish and chips, the bangers and mash, shepherd's pie. I had the shepherd's pie last time. That was pretty good. The Welsh pub burger, a savory impossible hot pot, and chicken marsal curry. See, a lot of good items here. I'm pretty sure I think I'm gonna stick with the fish and chips. That was my original like idea. I said fish and chips, a pint of beer, and fireworks. What a combination. Earlier I was saying you had this upper level here where you can sit under the awning, but down here they actually closed down these tables during the fireworks. I didn't know that. I thought you can sit down here for the fireworks, but they close them down and everybody's allowed to come down here and uh, watch the fireworks. I'm gonna put my umbrella up and yeah, you can just come stand down here and enjoy. It's gonna be such a beautiful view. Look at that gray sky though. I haven't decided yet whether I'm gonna sit up here and watch the fireworks or if I'm gonna go down there. It depends. Right now it's like a light drizzle, but as long as there's no lighting in the area, the fireworks are happening. And we have a good view for right where I'm sitting. Like, I don't even need to get up. If I just stayed seated right where I'm at, I could set my camera right here, just like this, and that's gonna be beautiful. Oh, they just turned on all the fire. That was cool. Another added benefit, as you're sitting here eating and drinking, you get that pre-Epcot Forever music to jam out to. That's like a, that's a really cool benefit to have. I think after I finish up this harp, I might switch it up and actually go with a pub blend. That's where you mix it up and they can do different ciders and mix different beers. Maybe I'll do an Imperial. I don't know, there's a big selection of them, so we'll have to look, or a snake bite. If any of you guys from the UK have any beer recommendations, please let me know in the comments because I would love to try them. You know, I don't know exactly what to order. Usually I just order anything that they have on stop here. They have a lot of Guinness items and like I said, bass and then the harp. But if you guys know of any other, let me know. So I'm going to try something different now, but I got to finish up this one. <sighs> Much too good though. <laughs> And take a look at this. The fish and chips has arrived. And this is a big portion. They give you three big pieces. Look at the size of this. Oh my lord. 
and a big pile of chips too. So I'm excited. We're gonna dive right on into these. I don't think I need any tartar either. I think I just eat it just the way it is. We are gonna jump right on into the fish and chips, but I'm gonna break one in half here. Wait till you hear like the crisp in this. Hold on, I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna focus on in on this. There we go, ready? Here we go, I'm gonna break it. <laughs> that is the way, here we go. These are so, so delicious. And I love the chips too. Oh my Lord, I am so happy about this. Oh, and there's my new drink. Fancy that, thank you. I ended up getting a blacksmith, which is half Smith's width and half Guinness. So it's a little bit dark, but I don't know. I don't think I've ever had this mix before, but we're gonna give it a go here. Oh, I got a beer stash. <laughs> it's good though, it is really good. I like this a lot actually. I basically have eaten a bite off of each piece of fish. Does anybody else do that? I like the ends because they have like that crispiness to them. And uh, yeah, I just made my way around and bite, bite, bite. And now I'm gonna finish it all up. And we have under 10 minutes until the fireworks. So we're gonna be eating this as the fireworks happening. Oh, actually maybe we'll get dessert. I'm not sure if you guys know, this is the same fish and chips that you can get outside. Uh, and I think this one you just get more pieces, but I love it. I'm not a big fish eater. Uh, in fact, thank you, uh, shout out to Beth. She's the first person that made me try this and I've loved it since then. You know, it was the first time I came here and she's like, you gotta try the fish and chips. And she also made me eat swordfish one time and I liked it. And now I'm hooked. See, trying new things sometimes really does happen and it makes you like new foods. Look at me, I'm eating fish. <laughs> I also like that they give you some vinegar so you can have a little vinegar with your fries and your fish. And I don't know, I haven't had vinegar since Long John Silver's. In fact, that was probably the last fried fish I ever had. Let me know, do Long John Silver's even exist? Like, I, I think they're all gone anymore. I haven't seen one in years. I think I'm gonna actually go down there and watch the fireworks, so we're gonna have to finish this up. We'll take our glass down there and just kind of hang out. There's one spot that I'm eyeing up, and I'm hoping nobody takes it. We only got a couple minutes to go, but we need to finish first. We got to finish eating our fish and chips first, and this is a big plate, like huge. I don't even think I touched the fries yet. I've just been snacking on the fish. They do give you so many french fries, and also, look at that fancy plate underneath there. I really like it, but now I'm gonna have to start picking away here. I'm gonna try to finish up these fries, but there is a lot. And I think I would rather have a dessert than the leftover fries. These are so good though. Very salty, very salty. I don't know what they did, but they're very salty. Okay, I think I'm calling it quits here. I think we're gonna go down there and we're gonna get our spot, bring our beer and enjoy the fireworks. I think we'll hop right down here. Got my beer in hand and uh, just kind of hang out and watch the fireworks from this black box.
and will always be in a state of becoming. It will never cease to be a living blueprint of the future. That was so, so cool. I really think the firework view is worth it on its own. And this isn't like a special package or anything. All you gotta do is just make the reservation at the right time. And it's just amazing. You don't have to worry about anyone in front of you. And it was just, it was really, really good. I enjoy watching the fireworks from here like a lot better than I think anywhere else. And now I believe that is a wrap. I didn't get a dessert though because so if you do want to order any drinks or desserts, you should order them before the fireworks start because the restaurant still closes at 9 o'clock exactly and the fireworks start at 9 o'clock uh, and they just don't do any more service. I should have thought of that beforehand, but then, uh, you know, I wasn't thinking about it. I'm still kind of mixed up with the times because like I said, Epcot used to be closing at 10, now it's closing at 9. But anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. This is such a fun treat that you can do and always walk up here about that time too because I've seen people coming in as a walk-in at the last second because the table got up and left and not realized the fireworks were going to happen soon and they could stay and watch so always keep an eye here because you never know you might get it and uh, yeah I'm excited for my mom and sister to come here hopefully they have a flight book that they can get here uh, I know that the airlines have been having issues I think spirit is on strike right now and uh, yeah they're kind of like kind of like stuck in an airport at the moment I tried to get them like you know something earlier to get down but the uh, airlines all jacked up the prices like I was shocked like their tickets cost like $200 and then I looked for like the next day and they were thousand like a thousand dollars so they knew that flights were gonna cancel they just jacked them right up but They'll be here soon and then we'll hang out and I'm going to do a lot of fun stuff with them and we'll come back to Epcot to watch the fireworks. And uh, yeah, anywho, we'll see you next time. Bye! Also take a quick look at the line for the Skyliner when Epcot closes. That is humongous. Holy moly. Look at this, it goes all the way up there in switchbacks. Like, this looks like a concert almost. That is gigantic. It goes all the way up and then switchbacks and then comes all the way back down here. And I think it's reaching all the way to the beach club. I wouldn't be shocked, right? I mean, this is, this is really, really, really long. I don't think I've ever seen it this long. Oh, there's a sign up there. I can see it, end of the line. We are officially at beach club, end of the line. How long is the wait from there, you think? Uh, 35. Really? Yeah. Not too shabby. An hour 35? <laughs>